Hello, welcome to today's The Word in the Flash. I'm Freddie Wilson. Today's subject is Put Your Faith in Action. When you put your faith in the Lord, miraculous things can happen. It's just a simple matter of not being afraid to do what he tells you to do and having faith that he will bring you through the task. Hebrews 11 and 1 reads, Now faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. An example in the Bible of where faith matters was when the fishermen were out fishing and they caught nothing. Jesus told them again to go to the same place in which they had not caught fish and cast their nets again. The men could have easily said, no, I'm not going to do that because I've tried before. But they were obedient. They were faithful enough to do what the Lord said. They went back out fishing and they had so much fish, they didn't have room for them all. The scripture reads, he said, throw your net on the right side of the boat and you will find some. When they did, they were unable to haul the net in because of the large, because of the large number of fish. That's what faith would do for you. You listen to the Lord; it may seem impossible, but He will show you what He's trying to get you to do, and sometimes you may find out why. Putting your faith in action requires a lot of prayer. I mean, you need to get down in prayer so you can hear the word of the Lord, so you can know what to do just sometimes not thinking about it or not trying to do it, 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 the word won't come to you. Read the scriptures, praying, and God will lead you. So once you pray and God tells you something to do, that's the beginning of your being prosperous. Matthew 21 and 22 reads, And whatever you ask in prayer, you will receive, if you have faith. Remember I was telling you about prayer, you, when you pray, you need to listen to God's still voice. You need to know when God is speaking to you. And when he does, believe him the first time. Be willing to go out and do what God would have you do. Remember, God won't have you do anything immoral or wrong. So know God's voice and you won't be wrong. Romans 10 and 17 reads, So faith comes from hearing and hearing through the word of Christ. To get the best word is when you uh, get down in prayer. And the word of Christ will come to you by you having a personal relationship with him. Sometimes when God speaks to you, what he's asking you to do may seem impossible. You may say, Lord, I don't have the skills. I don't have the word. I don't have the knowledge, the education, or the experience to do what you have me to do. I can tell you from personal experience, when you do what the Lord have you to do, He'll make a way for you, even though it may seem impossible. Philippians 4 and 13 reads, I can do all things through him who strengthens me. Let me tell you an example of how I put my faith in action. You may have heard this story before, but when I was down in Tampa, I got tired of renting an apartment. And I knew I was going to be down there for a while, so my wife and I discussed it, and we decided we were going to buy us an additional uh, house. For me to live in there while I was working there, and it may seem have been it may to have seemed impossible for me, but when God put me to it, I said, like, "Lord, I don't know if I can do this." Because just a year before now, I applied for a house that was a much older house. The house was older than me, but I wanted that house so bad. I I can go to many reasons as to why, but I was turned down. I'll be honest with you, I was turned down for the loan. So after that experience, I'm thinking, "Lord, you put me up to buy this townhouse." I don't have the ability to do this, so why would you show me to do these things? So, through prayer, God told me to do it. And you won't believe the things that God worked out for us in order to get that townhouse. And one of the things I'm most proud of when I applied for the loan, I told the mortgage company that we're keeping our house in Georgia and we're not renting it out. So you have to qualify us for the new mortgage considering the fact that we still have that to pay. God is so good. That was me putting my faith in action. You can put your faith in action too. It's not hard. It's nothing mystical. But 
sometimes when God shows you to do things, you got to believe what he's telling you. And sometimes there may be a failure. To me, I call those tests just to see if you're willing to do what God would have you do. And then eventually your, your blessings will come. But God will show you what to do. You have to remain faithful, even though things look rough. I went through a lot before closing on that loan because I didn't think it was going to happen because a lot of things were happening. But the devil would try to hit you uh, the most when you're getting ready to be blessed. So I encourage you today to put your faith in action. Don't just talk about that. Read the Bible. Uh, uh, stand on the promises of God. Let God show you what he will have for you. And he'll make a way for you. But you got to put your faith in action. And don't be afraid. Yes, you can be blessed regardless of your financial situation. You can be blessed no matter what your health uh, issues may be. You can be blessed from tragedy to uh, blessings. So all you got to do is have faith in God and uh, put your faith in action. Be blessed.